Hey everybody, Joey here with Moneyline.com. In this video, we're gonna cover all things points betting. So points betting is currently only available at points bet. It's a unique type of betting exclusive to points bet. It's very fun, it's very exciting. It can be confusing at first, but it is worth checking out if you if you like different types of bets and you know something to kind of mix it up. So the easiest way to think of points betting is the more right you are about your bet, you win more money. And the more wrong you are about a bet, you lose more money. So when you log into any you know sports betting app, you're typically going to see spread, money line, and total bets, right? So these are your most common bet types, and they're essentially fixed payout bets. And what that means is if I'm betting on the Suns minus three, I'm typically going to get minus 110 odds. So a $10 bet's going to pay out nine bucks. And it doesn't matter if the Suns win by five or 50. As long as I cover that three point spread, uh, then I'm going to win my bet. So with points betting, you can only points bet on um, bets that have, you know, variables like plus or minus three or over under 210 points. You can't points bet the money line because uh, that's already like a, there's no way to measure being more right or wrong. That's just whoever wins the game. So let's not even think about the money line in relation to points betting. Let me just get this out of the way. Just wanted to have it up as a reference. So let's say that we are going to points bet $1 on the Suns minus three. So instead of having odds, so instead of like getting, you know, Suns minus three at minus 110 odds, the odds are they shift to a variable amount, which is this $1. So you're setting how much you want to wager in relation to how well the Suns do. So you could bet $5 or 10 bucks, um, but essentially what you're doing is you're betting a dollar or $2 or whatever it is on each extra point that the Suns cover the spread by, you're going to get an extra dollar. And each point that the Suns don't cover the spread by, you're going to lose an extra dollar. So uh, the way this kind of plays out is, let's say Suns win by 10 points. I'll abbreviate points here. So if the Suns win by 10 points, then you have a 10 point winning margin minus the three from the spread. So you're going to win $7. Let's say Suns win by five points. They won by five. That's a winning margin minus the three they're given. You're only going to profit two bucks. And conversely, let's say Suns lose. Let's say the Suns lose by five points. Now, this is where it gets tricky. You don't just lose $5 because the Suns were favored by three points. So you have to account for that three points and the five points that they lost by. So essentially, here's the five that they lost by. And then the three points that you uh, needed them to cover the spread. So in this situation, you would actually lose eight dollars and just one more example here so if the suns lose in a blowout or you know kind of a blowout they lose by 10 points then there's the 10 points they lost by plus the three you needed them to cover the spread by so in this scenario you lose 13 dollars so uh, you can points bet the spread, you can points bet the total, you can points bet individual player stats, so individual player points, rebounds, goals, hits, if you're doing bat, uh, hockey or baseball, you know, passing yards, receiving yards, if you're doing football, you can points bet a lot of different stats. But the end takeaway is going to be the more right you are in your bet, the more money you're going to win, and the more wrong you are, the more money you're going to lose. And with points betting with this multiplier here, um, you can bet all the way up to, you can bet over a hundred dollars a point if you wanted to, if you were, you know, a high, high roller or whatever, uh, or you could bet $2 or $4. Um, 
you set the multiplier. So you kind of set the total amount of risk that you want to take in. And one cool thing about this is you can also set a stop loss. So if you're points betting the Suns minus three and you say, okay, you know, I don't want to lose more than five bucks. You can set your stop loss uh, at at five so that you couldn't lose more than five bucks, but you also won't be able to win more than five bucks based on the outcome of the game. Um, so it kind of takes a little bit away from the points betting, but it is a good risk adjustment to make if you only want to wager a certain amount. But at the end of the day, uh, with points betting, you just have to be careful that you don't, you know, over bet what you have in your account. Well, they won't let you over bet what you have in your account, but you don't want to bet more than you're comfortable losing. That's the end takeaway. So, you know, if you don't, if you only have a hundred bucks in your account, then you're not going to be betting 20, 20 bucks on the multiplier in a basketball game because you could easily, uh, you know, double up your hundred bucks or you could easily lose that hundred bucks. So it's just, you just want to be careful and kind of knowing your limitations. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it for what points betting is. I hope this kind of clears up any confusion. Uh, you know, feel free to comment with any questions. Uh, we also have a full points bet review at moneyline.com. I'll put that link in the description. That also covers what points betting is with different examples. So if you want to see it written out, feel free to check that out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and all that good stuff.